Before opening the hood, release the hood latches on both sides of the hood by lifting each latch upwards to release and separate. Lay the latch back on the quarter guard to ensure it won't foul on the hood while it is being raised. To open the hood, clasp the KW emblem at the top of the grille and pull the hood towards you as you take a step backwards. Keep pulling the hood all the way until the safety mechanism has engaged, preventing the hood from accidentally closing. The T610 has a safety latch on the hood, which automatically activates when the hood's fully open. So to close up the hood, you just push the safety tube so that the two clips catch around the strut and it'll allow the tube to slide down over the strut. In addition to the new safety strut fitted to these T610s, the traditional wire safety catch is still available to use on the hood as well. So you have two options of uh, securing the hood to ensure that it stays over. The daily checks that you perform on the right hand side of the vehicle include your coolant level, which you can see in the new clear bottle, a visual check of all your hoses and hose clamps, check of your belts and the condition of your fan, make sure your fan's not split or anything like that. And also a quick glance at the air restriction gauge which is just located in up here behind the uh, air conditioner compressor. If for some reason the coolant needs topping up, only use the recommended coolant for your vehicle. There's a few daily checks that need to be carried out on the left hand side of the vehicle. That's a visual inspection of your power steering system, visual inspection of your fuel filter system and a quick check of the oil. They use a clean rag, wipe the stick, put it back in. If for some reason you do have to top up the oil, the oil filler is located at the front of the engine. While you're on the left-hand side of the vehicle, it's a good idea to have a look at all your hoses, make sure all the clamps are done up tight, make sure they're firm. Have a good look around, make sure that everything's right. So to close them the hood, you just push the safety tube so that the two clips catch around the strut and it'll allow the tube to slide down over the strut. To close the hood, clasp the KW emblem and gently lower the hood down Till it comes to rest on its stoppers. Then immediately lock the hood in the closed position with both the hood latches. The windscreen washer reservoir is located on the left hand side of the truck and uh, it's simply a matter of unscrewing the cap. Bring that you've got plenty of washer fluid in your um, reservoir. This one's full. You've checked it. Put the cap back on. Make sure it's done up snug.